I feel like I haven't made a video that was purely sponsored. Like, you guys have to understand, this is actually my life. I enjoy matcha more than, than anyone else I've ever seen. Matcha, like, if I could wear this color everywhere, I want my eyes to be this color. Like, I want my wardrobe to be this color. I want my hair to be this color, but then I just look like a sea witch. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Wait, I do. I literally have a green undercut. Macho life. Hi everyone, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm talking about matcha. Matcha is like my new favorite thing in the world. Actually, I discovered it a long time ago, but um, it was only through like those like little matcha frappuccinos from um, Starbucks. But matcha is actually like a serious thing. It's like a big, big deal. I was contacted by the Matcha Reserve and they asked me if I wanted to talk about their matcha, which is actually sold in a bunch of different flavors that are not just matcha, but it's like strawberry matcha, mango matcha, melon matcha, um, lemon matcha, there's even caramel matcha. But I actually made a bunch of matcha and I put it into this jar. This is actually a jar that I have recycled from the use of cold brew made by my friend Jared, um, Bolt Bottle. I actually like my matcha chilled because I'm a fan of cold drinks more than hot drinks. I wanted to tell you guys like how matcha is really beneficial to you. Most of my information is from this video that I'm going to link in the description below. Matcha is a fine powder ground from the entirety of a young tea leaf plant. It's carefully grown in the shade for three weeks and it has so much chlorophyll in it that it's really nutritious and it has a lot of antioxidants. The antioxidants actually prevent illness, promote healthy glowing skin, lowers blood sugar levels and cholesterol while also speeding up your metabolism which is why matcha is actually known to be pretty good if you're trying to lose weight. It also contains this chemical called L-theanine. It reduces anxiety, boosts your mood, and increases concentration which I really need. It releases a steady rate of caffeine that just supports you throughout the day versus the, the like buzz and crash of caffeine uh, that's usually found in coffee. I personally hate green tea, like it's my least favorite tea, but matcha green tea tastes so different. It tastes like really creamy and like sweet. So from the matcha reserve, I got these three special flavors, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry matcha. At first when I was making it, I was trying to pour, so I made like, I made hot water from the Keurig and then I poured the matcha in there and just stirred it in. And I just don't think I did it right because like it tasted good, it tasted like matcha, but it just, I didn't really pick up on the like flavor. When I made this matcha correctly, I, um, I took a bowl, like they said to do, like uh, when you get matcha, you get this like little card that tells you how to make it correctly. I heated water, like boiled it in a, um, in a separate like thing and then I had a bowl that I poured it all into after pouring the matcha in I stirred it with this bamboo whisk and basically it just kind of came out really like frothy on the top like it's supposed to as soon as I poured the hot water into the matcha it smelled like I had like a board full of freshly cut strawberries sitting right in front of me. That's what it smelled like. In my head, I honestly thought that if I were to open these, like this was going to be a brown matcha and this was going to be a like pink or red matcha, but they're all green. So ceremonial matcha is a little bit different. It's like more concentrated with like the pure young leaf. Um, culinary matcha is slightly cheaper, although all matcha is on the pricey side if you're getting the right thing. Culinary matcha is like a mixture of like the pure young leaf and green tea uh, that's just kind of mixed in to be a like cheaper version. You can actually make like anything with matcha. You can make matcha pancakes and waffles, um, cake and cupcakes. You can put it in, I don't know, you can put it in smoothies, you can put it in lattes. Um, I really just make matcha as if I was making myself like a cup of iced coffee. Um, I pre-made this, this entire thing, the vanilla one and the chocolate one, just like I had to dump all of it in there to make this much. Well, 
this much. Two of these one ounce containers makes about 30 ounces of matcha if you mix it right because the ratio is one to three. So I honestly feel like I've just been so obsessed with any food that is green. For those of you that don't know, I met Scott, my boyfriend, at um, a smoothie place because he was the district manager and I kept going in to talk to him and like my favorite drink there is actually lean green and it's a green drink and I just find green drinks really appealing. I put silk protein nut milk and a little bit of like this type of creamer that I'm pretty sure everyone has seen before just a little bit of this one into my matcha just because um, I like things with a little bit of sweetener. <laughs> I've also tried it where I like put some honey in there and I mix it in and it is so good with honey. Like I put honey on anything. When I'm bored, I just eat spoonfuls of honey. But I mean, I don't know about other people, but honey's like the best in matcha. Okay guys, that's all for this video. I just wanted to say this is like the biggest part of my like weekly routine now where I'll just like make a big container of matcha and then I'll drink that throughout the week. It makes me feel so much better than coffee did honestly. I wanted to stop drinking coffee for a long time. Working in the hair industry, everyone either smokes cigarettes or drinks way too much coffee and I didn't want to like fall into either of those and so I was like maybe I should just try something other than coffee because I can already see myself getting super dependent on it. Like I'd have three cups a day and I don't feel good doing that. Um, matcha I think is just like the best option for me because I really enjoy it but it's it also just has so many more benefits to it. I think everyone else should join the matcha movement. I think it's like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna go now on that note. Leave a like. Love you guys. Stay epic everyone. Bye!